All right, Shalom. First off, I want to start off by saying all praises, honor, and glory is due to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Bashim Krakadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone and peace and mercy to the hopeful late preachers, word, and truth and sincerity. I'm the brother Taz Abana, Great Millstone, and there's on the camp, Laura Will, with another video to edify. Um, watching the, the brother inspiration of the Almighty on the LA. Um, and I had to just get on to this just based off this video you're playing. Right? Because people are really getting affected by this, man. His brothers in the truth are just getting affected by it. By what Esau is doing to the food, the water, the air. Right? And you see why these people are just all out demons. Right? And why men ain't really men no more. That's why when you see a man that's a man, it, it just. When you see a man that acts like a man, moves like a man. Because I remember. Not to. Uh. What is it like last year went to, uh, you know, Disney cell house with my woman, <laughs> Disney world or whatever, with my woman and a older, older dude, masculine as fuck, bro. Came up, he, he was just talking to me, chopping it up like a man, bro. He sees another man with some size and, 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 and a stern look and he's like, bro, hey man, I gotta go peep this guy and just chopped it up and shit. Bro, and that shit brought a smile on my face because I ain't seen a man that moved like a man like that outside of the brothers in a long time, man. And I felt like he had to be a Jake, bro. He had too much smoothness, too much swagger when he came and talked to me, bro. But I'm going to play this. They call it male feminization. Whenever you're adding all these chemicals, atrazine is the big one that's often studied. It's a, it's a herbicide. It's the second most used herbicide in North America. I don't know if you've heard of atrazine. Right. Yeah, it's in the drinking water. Totally illegal in Europe, by the way. They don't even allow it in Europe. It's crazy. And then in America, it's the second most used after glyphosate. But they'll call it male feminization. You give these animals atrazine exposures, and they're equal exposures to a lot of Americans. And, like, for example, uh, if you have a frog, and you've got him in 200 nanograms per deciliter of atrazine, 200... That male frog turns female. Now you've got a female frog. But it's not just atrazine, because you're, now you've got the plastic water bottles. Oh, and you've got all this fragrance and all these parabens you're rubbing it on your skin. Your skin is absorbing all this stuff. Oh, and now you've got, like, sunscreen chemicals, right? We haven't even talked about that, but oxybenzone in sunscreen, by far the most widely used chemical in sunscreen, that's an estrogen endocrine disruptor. It acts like estrogen in your body. And they did a study. After I published my book, they did a study with oxybenzone. And one application of sunscreen... Just one. Seven days later, it was above the government's safety limits in people's blood. And that's just an adult with one application of oxybenzone. And some people are putting on their kids like oh, five days a week. They're like putting on their face. These like personal care products that brag about like keeping your face protected from the sun. They call it male fem. You see, Esau's just destroying the natural order. He's turning these things upside down. Where man, testosterone makes a man. Endocrine uh, disruptors your endocrine, right? Go, going back to uh, doctors who study endocrinology, which is doing with hormones, right? Your endocrine system is where your hormones come from. So your pituitary gland is considered an endocrine uh, 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 producer, right? It's your endocrine center, right? So if you have endocrine disruptors, what does it do? It fucks up the hormones. So what it causes is... Uh, Increase prolactin and prolactin, right? Uh, kills off testosterone. Basically, uh, it's a testosterone inhibitor, right? So it causes that to drop severely low to the point where if you aren't getting that prolactin under control, right? It causes your testosterone just to plummet. All right, let's go back to that video. Male feminization. It causes your prolact it causes your testosterone to plummet, and then your the, the endocrine disruptor. The only thing that's being produced at that point is what estrogen. Estrogen and all these foods, everything is built in America, right? Especially in America, to sit here and, and feminize men. This is why simp culture is so big, right? This is why you got men. Over here talking about their 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 their, their uh, feminists, right? The whole fucking cult culture, man. This is that this is that place. This is this is why, because Esau's made all these things to be like this, to destroying the food, water, and everything, right?
But the Lord said, let me grab this, man. Because this stuff, when your body isn't isn't in the working order like it's like it's supposed to be, right? It causes what? Disease, dis ease, right? It's Deuteronomy 28. You get it, man. And this is where we're at. We're under the crushes. We're under the curses, Salakia. Yeah, here it is, Deuteronomy 28 and 65. It says, And among these nations shall thou find no ease, neither shall the sole of thy foot have rest. But Yahweh shall give thee in uh give thee there a trembling heart and failing eyes and sorrow of mind. And for your body to constantly be in, in a position to where you can never feel whole. You can never feel uh, uh, energized. Right? Everybody's fucking tired. Because this devil's destroying food and life at an astronomical rate. Even so far to the point where he wants to make lab-grown chicken. Right? He said, oh, and Jake's love chicken. What did he do? He pumped them full of hormones, which actually fucks up your, your, your hormone system. Right? Your endocrine system, which causes what? Increases in, in fibroids in women because excess estrogen in women causes fibroids. Right? And it causes lower testosterone and increased estrogen in men. So it's not complete effeminizing of people and that causes disease man because if a man's testosterone gets too low what happens depression a lack of drive drive right this is why the lord said what he was going to what cause our food to be defiled this is uh ezekiel 4 and 13 and yahweh said even thus shall the children of israel eat their defiled bread among the gentiles whether i will whether i will drive them and our food is completely defiled this devil's on 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 a rampage mode right now man All right brother's health is taking a hit that's just just fucking madness no amount of sleep is enough for you to actually feel fucking rested because the food is messed up you're not getting anything man so much so that brothers are dealing with health issues that is like, it's wild by, by the fact that we eat lawfully. And we're going through shit like a, a, a nigga in the world that don't eat lawfully. This devil has destroyed the way of life. And this is, hey, you, you jakes that are out here. You jakes that are out here and are, are comfortable in this shit. You're, 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 man. Y'all are fucking demons, bro. How are you going to be comfortable on a land where you can't even have a meal that's not designed to just straight out destroy you and your children? Right? Let's say Micah 2 and 10, it says, it says, arise ye and depart for this is not your rest. This place isn't our rest because it is polluted. It shall destroy you even with a sword of destruction. This place is completely polluted. It's defiled. Let me get that word polluted there. I'm going to see what it say. This isn't living. The fact that we eat food. Where we're supposed to get some type of nutrients and energy. And, and somehow we're in a worse position. Man, I can't tell you the amount of times where my woman's brought me some food and I eat it. And it's not even from the cheapest restaurants. And I eat it, I f automatically feel like shit. This ain't supposed to be how we're supposed to live and eat. This isn't living. Right? The word polluted is uh, tama'a, tama, tama'a, tazama. I think it's tama'a. Yeah, tama'a. And it says, um, to be unclean, become unclean, be, become impure. To be or become unclean sexually, religiously, ceremonially. To defile oneself, be defiled. To regard as unclean. 
to pronounce unclean, declare unclean. Right? None of this food is clean, man. Here it is. You, you, they, they'll take something like a salmon, which is lawful. Something that have fins and scales and they'll hybrid it with an eel. Right? So that it can it can produce more, more fish and grow larger and, and be able to survive in, in colder temperatures so they get a bigger yield and they'll defile it. They'll make it something that is unclean and you have no uh, knowledge of it. Or if you do find out knowledge, there's nothing you can do about it because everything has been crossbreeded and hybrided and, 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 and twisted and contorted in all types of ways. For you to sit here and be comfortable to be here, you got to be a fucking demon. Remember, the scriptures tell you we're supposed to be looking for a new heaven, right? Let's get that. This is um, 2 Peter 3 and 13. Nevertheless, you know, I'll start 12. It says, looking for and hastening unto the coming of the day of the Most High. And this is what we should be doing. It shouldn't be about sitting here getting a bag in America, trying to build a school or a community in America. Fuck that, man. What do you want to build here for? This stuff is messed up. Right? Let's say you built something in America, right? Let's say you built and you you were able you able to make your own farms and everything like that. You'll do that. Make your own farm, get all that shit going. But at the end of the day, you still gotta drink the water here. You still gotta drink uh breathe the air with all the pollutants in it. You got still gotta deal with these demonic ass people. It says wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Nevertheless, right? We know that this place is going to be dissolved. Everything here is going to be burnt up with the fervent heat, the beast of destruction. The scriptures tell you the day is going to come that shall be burnt, that shall burn as an oven. We know that these things are coming, right? But it says, nevertheless, even though we know these things, right? We, according to the promise of the most, we, according to, his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. All right? Where that's what we're looking for. We're looking and then putting our mind on those things. To because to be stuck in this shit and 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 have the the the, the misfortune of, of birthing a son or daughter and this stuff and, and growing old here and leaving them to this type of decrepit ass lifestyle here that's a fucking that's a hard thing man man i i, I would i would personally feel like i kind of fucking felt him that i had to leave him in this shit man some brothers have to go through that but if we had the choice to to be able to put them back in the wound and just be able to hold on to the kingdom, man. Hey, man, I know brothers would want that instead because to have your seeds raised up in a, a society and a kingdom that promotes uh, transformerism as this place has, and then they go to school and they try to indoctrinate, indoctrinate them into doing this and doing that and believing this and, and fucking up all type of teaching you give. Man, th this is what makes us wait and hope Right. And look for a new heaven, right? a new rulership and a new earth, a refreshed earth. Right. Because the Lord said he was going to give us clean provender. Yeah, this is a uh, Isaiah 30 and 24 it says the oxen likewise and the young asses that uh, that ear the ground shall eat clean provender which uh, had been winnowed with a shovel and with a fan, right? Clean provider. If the ox are eating that, imagine what we are eating. Right now, you got cows and everything, ultra acidic stomachs, 
right? And which is why they have to give these cows all types of antibiotics. Because before when they were grass fed, the chlorophyll provided them with the antibiotics. But since they sit here and want to reduce the amount of land that these animals have to graze, it causes uh it causes cows to get all types of abscesses in their feet. Right? They walk on their own shit all damn day. They don't sh uh, they don't shed their hooves na naturally, so it causes what all types of a uh, 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 white line rot into to the cow's foot, and these are the same cows that provide you your milk. So they have all these infections, and then you get that from them, or you get your meat from the same cow. This is the wickedness that we got to deal with here, and how Esau set this place up. But soon the Lord is going to sit here and adjust this shit. He's going to he's going to get these devils out the way. And that's what we got to wait on, man. Fuck, you know, excuse my language, man, but F screw sitting here and just wanting to be here and trying to be fucking happy. You shouldn't be happy here. Shalom.